Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. One of my favorite things to do is merge my hobbies and interests together. Crocheting is my main hobby and I often find myself incorporating it into whatever interest I have currently going on. I've done Animal Crossing crochet projects, Magic the Gathering crochet projects. Chances are if I am deep into an interest then I'm going to make a crochet project out of it. So naturally we're gonna be doing some Squishmallow related <laughs> crochet projects today. Honestly, it was only a matter of time before I made a Squishmallow crochet video. I don't know how I haven't done it already, but the time has come. Today I'm gonna be crocheting some plushies inspired by some of my favorite Squishmallows. And while it did cross my mind to just simply crochet a Squishmallow replica, like egg shape and everything, I thought that would be too easy and I would probably get bored of that really quick. So instead, we're gonna be letting the inspiration guide me in this video and I'm just gonna be using these Squishmallows as a springboard, a little inspo, you know? We're gonna be looking at the features, the colors. Does it have any cute embroidery? We're gonna let all of those things be incorporated into these crochet plushies, but it's not gonna be like a one-to-one -one egg shape crochet plushy Squishmallow. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Anyway, I think you get the gist, so let's just get started. The first Squishmallow that I drew some inspiration from is good old Della the duck. She is a hot pink duck and she is so freaking adorable. So I thought it'd be really funny just to make a little chonker of a pink duck inspired by good old Della. I don't know what happened to the first part of this footage that I have where I'm making the Della inspired crochet plush. I actually started recording this video back in August 2020. 22 so it's been a while and i guess that footage got lost somewhere like maybe i just didn't save it but unfortunately we are going to have to start off while i'm already like a quarter of the way done with the crochet plushie but basically all i did was make the head and then make like the little white stripe that is kind of like on her neck area and then i'm just going in with a lighter pink for her body and just kind of flaring it out a little bit so that it's gonna be nice and rounded once we like finish up the actual body and it's just gonna be like a nice little chonky duck. <laughs> once I was getting pretty far, I did realize that I maybe should have put the white stripes just a little bit higher. So that's something that I would redo if I could, but we were making some good progress. She was looking nice and chonky. And then I went ahead and added some eyes. And because Della has like that white outline with the black pupil, I wanted to also have that look on the little ducky, so I did use some white thread to just kind of give her a little bit of extra oomph in the eyes. Pepper was also helping very much. Thank you so much, Pepper. And now we can see me closing up the body. I'm basically just decreasing and that's gonna make that nice round shape that I was talking about. So yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, almost done with the body here. It took a lot of stuffing. She, t she took a lot of stuffing. Really had to jam it all in there and everything, but you know, it's, it's worth it. And I have been using some Squishmallow stuffing for these plushies because I do happen to have some Squishmallow stuffing. Don't ask how I have extra Squishmallow stuffing. You don't want to know. But after stuffing her up real nice, I went ahead and sewed shut the very bottom of her. Just using a little yarn needle and some thread to close up that hole. And here's how she was looking. Super cute. Again, I wish I had brought the white stripe up just a little bit more, but I still think that it has the same vision and feel and everything. So after that, I went ahead and started working on some little leggies and a little beak for her. The Della Squishmallow has a yellow beak, so I went ahead and used yellow for the beak on my crochet plushie and also yellow for the legs because I thought that that would just match and I thought that made the most sense. So we got a little foot going, cute adorable little footsie, and then I got two of them made plus the beak. And after sewing slash hot gluing those on, here's how she came out. I think she came out so cute. I actually really love her. The colors are super adorable. I love the pink and yellow together. I think she came out so good. I love that she's just nice and chonky. And here she is next to her Squishmallow inspiration. What do you think? I think I did pretty good on this one. This was pretty one-to-one. -one. She is chonky just like the Squishmallow and I got all her colors and little features and I just added some legs. That was really it. I just gave her some little feetsies. So <laughs> I really love this one. I think it came out super nice. Our next Squishmallow inspiration is good old Lula the Lamb. She is super adorable and she has a lot of features that I really enjoy. Her body is like a cotton candy kind of vibe. Super cute and she's got that little heart nose, cute little pink blushies, and she is nice and fluffy and holding an adorable 
adorable little pink flower. And I just thought that all those cute little details would be perfect inspiration for a crochet plushie. So I started off by just making her little face portion, which was just like a little white oval with some fluffy yarn. That's literally all I did. And now here I am just embroidering her little face. I was very inspired by her little closed eyes with the adorable little eyelashes. So I gave her some of those. And I happened to have this little fabric heart. So I gave her her adorable little heart nose. Thankfully I had that on hand. And then I was just going ahead and giving her a cute little mouth, just like she has on her Squishmallow version. So that's what she ended up looking like. I think it's pretty close to her Squishmallow counterpart. And then I am using this random yarn that I've been hoarding for so long. I thought the colors were close enough to what colors she has on her Squishmallow self. Um, it doesn't really have any pink incorporated into it, unfortunately, but I thought it was kind of like that cotton candy vibe that is on the original Squishmallow. So I'm just starting off by making her little head, which is gonna have to be kind of big because I made her little face portion pretty big. So she's gonna have a big head, okay? Like nothing wrong with that. She's just a little big headed, <laughs> but it has to be big enough to have that little like face plate on it and not look like super awkward and weird. So I'm just doing that and I am using a H size hook for this and I think I use an H for the Della one as well for the crochet duck. I like using either a G or H hook when it comes to plushies. That way if I'm using a worsted weight yarn then the stitches are nice and like tight and the stuffing doesn't come out or anything. And this is what it looked like when it was all done. Looking nice and circular. Great, great. And her head is just going to go right on there. And then I'm taking some whites and I'm going to make her hooves. Now on the actual Squishmallow I think her hooves are kind of like a light purpley color but I'm just using the white because I thought that it would just look better I thought it would look more clean and just kind of like match overall so we're still gonna get the same vibes but yeah this um, yarn specifically this white yarn was slightly thicker than the yarn I use for her body so you'll see later her hooves her little hands come out kind of big but it's okay so I just have to make four of those and I'm basically just making a circle and then I'm just building up like a couple rounds of just straight single crochet with no increases just to build up like the little wall and yeah, that's gonna make her hooves. So they ended up looking like this. Like I said, kind of bigger. Maybe I should have made them slightly smaller, but I made four of those and we were ready to go. Now I was gonna work on all of her leggies. I just took one of those hooves and then I started going around it with her body color. And we're just gonna be making this all in one piece. The leggy's gonna be all in one piece. So yeah, I'm just going around it and we're starting off with the arms, which I wanted to taper a little bit at the top so they just weren't so wide so that her shoulders wouldn't be like super huge, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much all I'm doing here. Just a lot of single crocheting. Since this isn't really a comprehensive tutorial or anything, I do just like kind of skip around and just show you, okay, here's some progress, skip, here's some progress. I don't show you like row by row, step by step, because I'm just making up all of this as I go along pretty much. I have no patterns. Um, all of this is just completely free handed. So I couldn't even tell you what I was doing half of the time. I was just completely winging it. But once we finished one arm, I was on to the next one and oh look at that the next one is done <laughs> wow the magic of editing <laughs> so i finished her arms like i said the the bottom of the hoof puff part like the white part was a little bit big and chonky but that's okay next i was just gonna make the legs again make them straight and then just kind of connect them and it was going to be a whole body piece. I don't know what I was trying to show you there. It, it's it's not going to make any sense, but you'll see what I'm going to do. So for the legs, instead of tapering them at the top like I did for the arms, I'm just going around and around and around and I'm not doing any decreases. So this is just going to be like as straight as possible because I do want the legs to be a little bit longer than the arms because I feel like that will just look a little more proportionate. I don't know, but after I was done with leggy number one, it was on to a leggy number two, of course, of course. And Peach decided to give me some company as I was working on leggy number two. <laughs> and I look so stoic and like in concentration here, which I very much am. But if you ever see my face and you're like, Raven, why are you so like deep in concentration? It's because I am. Or I'm watching a show and I'm just focused on that and I just... I don't know. <laughs> I just look so serious, <laughs> but I was having a blast. I promise you. I promise you. Um, but yeah, Peachy was was very kind and she only bit the yarn that one time. So thank you, Peach, for being nice and not 
eating my yarn. That was, that was so nice of you. So after I finished the two leggies, they were done. And to connect them, I was taking the yarn that was still on the hook, still attached to one of the leggies, and I was just doing a couple of chains. And then after I did those chains, I'm going to go and start single crocheting into the other leg. So that's gonna connect them. And then I'm gonna go around and around both legs. But first we're gonna do some stuffing, of course. Let me not get ahead of myself. <laughs> we're gonna stuff them first so that, um. It's just, it's just easier to do this because if I do it later, then I gotta get all the way down in there. Like after there's so much of the body built up, it just makes sense. Anyway, that's, that's the idea. That's the idea. So we go around and around and we make some little hips and then we just go up and up and up until I make the entire body pretty much. And it's kind of like a one piece body. It's just less sewing instead of making two arms, two legs and a stomach and then sewing those five pieces together technically i don't really do any sewing except for the arms so that's just sewing together two pieces instead of five pieces it's just easier but i like to stuff as i go i like to do the stuffing as i go along just so again it's just easier just to stuff a little bit here and there instead of waiting until i'm done and then stuffing all of it at once so this part is just a lot of single crocheting, just a lot of going around and around. And I was decreasing about every two rows just to kind of like taper the body because otherwise it would be super wide and the head is big, but not that big. So it was gonna look weird. So I definitely had to make it go kind of like in a triangle shape, like the, the tip of a triangle so that I could have a neck and then I could attach that to the head and it doesn't look super weird like she has a thick neck you know what i mean so after that i was making some little ears to go on her and i was just making some little circles basically just super simple little ears and the idea is that i'm going to pinch them at one point and then we will sew that pinched part onto the head and it's gonna be like a little lamb ear. You know, you get the gist, you get the gist. It's gonna look real cute. So I just started sewing her little like face plate to the head. It sounds like she's a robot saying face plate, but you know what I mean? Like the little white part with her facial features on it, just sewing that to the head, nice and easy. So this is what it was looking like, very cursed, but next I needed to sew the body to the head together. So that's what we're doing. It's just so cursed <laughs> right now. It looks so very cursed cursed but i got the sewing done um honestly i have a love-hate relationship with sewing body parts together like it's very satisfying but it's also super annoying and when i was like really deep into my crocheting era i would try to find patterns all the time that were just like no sew because i hated the sewing part but you know we gotta do what we gotta do and then i went ahead and sewed on the arms they did come out a little bit shorter than i wanted and a little bit thicker than i wanted i feel like they could have looked better if they were a little bit thinner and longer but yeah that's what she was looking like so far so i thought that our crochet inspired lula was done but i felt like she was like missing something i didn't give her the blushies i totally forgot about the blushies and i totally forgot to incorporate her little flower so i felt like her head was missing something we were missing the flower so why not kill two birds with one stone and i went back and i crocheted a little flower to put on her head i just put it right next to one of her ears and i feel like that really helped give her a little something something so that's how she ended up turning out so let me know what do you think this one is definitely kind of on the opposite side of the squishmallow it's very long and leggy and lanky not really like a chonky duck you know which is closer to a squishmallow but i think it still came out super cute i really like it and for being just a giant freehand crochet plushie i think i did an okay job the proportions were questionable but again it was just all freehand so i still think it came out okay regardless but if you know me you know that I cannot get through this video without doing a frog related crochet squishmallow project. So the next squishmallow that we were inspired by was good old Lay, a little yellow froggy. This was recently at one of the five below drops and I scooped her up and she's super adorable. She is yellow with some little pink cheekies and a white belly and I thought she was the perfect inspo for our little froggy. And for this one I was inspired actually by some crochet projects that I've seen before. I've seen like these leggy frogs kind of all over on the internet, on TikTok. A lot of people make these leggy frogs where they're kind of just like a rectangle with really long like wiggly little arms and legs. They're super cute. So I definitely wanted to make one of my own and I wanted to use a fluffy yarn. So I'm using this Just Chenille yarn. It is actually from the dollar store, <laughs> believe it or not. 
I stocked up a while ago when they had it and when it was still actually a dollar before the price increase. So that was pretty good. Anyway, I'm starting off by just making a super long chain. I wanted this to be kind of a bigger leggy frog. All the ones that I see are pretty small. So I think I changed 21 for this and i'm also using a j sized hook for this so a little bit bigger than the h sized hook that i was using before but i'm going back on the chain and just single crocheting around pretty much we're just going to start building like a big rectangle so that's what that was looking like after the first round pretty satisfying if i do say so myself nice and stretchy as well so for the eyes um what i've seen people do is just do a bobble stitch and then you put in the eyeball where the bobble stitch is so i did that on both sides it they didn't end up being symmetrical but i think it's okay and i feel like this has much more of an effect when you're making a much smaller leggy frog since i was making such a big one it really didn't make that much of a difference but whatever we we press on <laughs> so for this leggy frog specifically it's really just a lot of single crocheting like there's not really anything else you do you just make a big rectangle so that's pretty much all i got to show you and i'm nice and cozy up in my hello kitty blankets and just chilling you know it's it's a grand old time i was also watching some catfish while crocheting and it was very nice very very cozy very much enjoyed the vibes here <laughs> but as you can see i have gotten further and it, the plushie is getting bigger and bigger and longer and longer so i wasn't sure like when i wanted to stop or like how long i wanted to make the rectangle since i didn't have like a pattern or anything so i was purely going off of vibes at this point but then i finally reached the point where I was like okay it's good and I started stuffing it and yes once again I am using some old squishmallow stuffing so it's nice and squishy so it definitely makes a difference it's a huge difference and then I'm going along the bottom edge and I'm just holding those two sides together and putting my hook through both sides and just single crocheting it shut um, you could just sew it up you definitely could I don't know why I decided to single crochet it shut I guess so I didn't have to sew because I hate sewing <laughs> but yeah that's definitely um an option definitely an option you could sew it if you want to whatever whatever you're feeling um but yeah that's pretty much all i did i just went all the way down to the end and just shut all of it closed and then i went ahead and poked in those eyeballs where those bubble stitches were see it made a difference on the right side but on the left it just wasn't as much of a difference anyways then i attached my hook back in that yarn that was still attached at the bottom corner and i'm just starting to do a big chain and we're just going to make these legs um this is also kind of like a no sew pattern and usually when you make it you make the arms like like as you're going around the body but I just didn't know how long I was gonna make the body so I just didn't know where to put the arms so I'm just making those separately but I'm just going ahead and making some little toesies so I'm just pretty much doing two half double crochets back and then like a slip stitch and then chaining three and then doing two half double crochets in that first chain and just doing that three times and that makes the little toes I, I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> but I just made him some little three toesies and that's what it ended up looking like he's got his little leggy his little toesies looking great so then I went ahead and did that on the other side of course and then started making those arms separately to sew those back on and it's pretty much the same process as the legs and then once again I was like okay this plushie's done but I forgot about the little brown spots that she has on on her back so of course those are an iconic part of the squishmallow and i had to add them like otherwise it's just any old regular yellow frog you know so i went ahead and made a couple of brown little splashy splots with some worsted weight yarn sadly i didn't have any brown fluffy yarn to match the yellow fluffy yarn that i had but it was okay and i went ahead and made those and just honestly lazily hot glued them on because i was lazy <laughs> about it but after doing all of that here is how the froggy ended up i think it came out very cute again this is kind of like opposite of squishmallow because this is a good old rectangle with long skinny little leggy leggies so yeah i think this came out super cute i really enjoyed this technique of just making like the big rectangle and making the little leggies um i think it was super fun so yeah let me know which one was your favorite i don't know if i could choose a favorite and let me know how you enjoyed this video i really hope that you liked it i had a blast making it i always love making crochet videos and incorporating my hobbies onto the channel so thank you guys so much for watching i very much appreciate it i appreciate 
the support on crochet videos. It's, it's very nice. It warms my little froggy heart. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on your way out. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.